Hey guys, it's Bruce with Bruce's Bees. I'll show you how I use the uh, oxalic acid vaporizer, the wand system today. Um, like this right here. I got this uh, wand from Bud Willis over in Georgia, and he's been really easy to work with. I've actually ordered more than one of these, and they're very well built. They've been well built all along, but he's even building them tougher now. As you can see, uh, it's very solid. I'm not sure what the material is he built it out of, but it's very good. Uh, he uses uh, nice thick wire. Um, it's just a good system, very well built. I've, I've seen, you know, I think there's some way cheaper ones out there, uh, but they probably won't last near as long. When Bud sends you his wand, he also sends you some oxalic acid enough to treat several hives. If you're a hobbyist, this will probably last you for a good while with just a few hives. Uh, and then also he sends you the scoop and uh, I'm not even sure how big the scoop is, but one scoop is perfect for a single a 10 frame deep. And then any uh, super or box on top of that, he says to add a half a scoop. And so that's kind of how, uh, what his system involves. So I'm gonna go set this over here. All right, so of course you need the battery. Here's the battery I use. It's a, uh, just a marine battery. It actually has two posts on the top, so you can treat two hives at once, and I've done that a little bit as well. Protective gear, now I haven't been as good about this as I should have been, but um, there's a mask. It needs to be uh, appropriate mask to treat organic acid vapors. And so that's what I've got here with my mask. And then that's bare minimum. I think it's also a good idea to use goggles uh, when you treat. Now they have mask gobble combos and and um, and so that's that's what you use. And then of course use the uh, just a typical uh, shop rag or whatever you want to use um, to plug the hole for the vapor um, so it'll stay in the hive. So I'm gonna go get everything set up here and we'll we'll show you how I do it. I'm gonna do two these two behind me here the two nukes the three deep nuke over by the battery and the one on this side over here, the double D. So we'll treat those two hives using this wand, oxalic acid vaporizer wand, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Um, since the holes in this nuke are so small, I don't worry too much about it. I'll probably just leave the top one open and so we can see uh, if the, or when the uh, vapor gets up there. I may or may not clog the bottom one, but I'm going to stand back far enough that we won't get exposed to the vapor. I'll wear my mask to, to get started. So I'm going to put a scoop and a half in the wand, and we're going to get started here. Now we'll let it go about two minutes and then we'll disconnect it and by then it should have vaporized uh, sufficiently to, to go throughout the hive and it takes it about a minute to cool down or so so we'll leave it in there an extra minute after we disconnect it and it should be done and we'll go on to the hive. So while we're waiting here we'll talk a minute about some of the advantages of oxalic acid. For a short time a year or two, I, I kind of decided I wanted to be uh, what they call a quote unquote treatment free. I figured if my bees were strong, they'd be able to overcome the mites and, and uh, other parasites and diseases, and uh, they'd be strong. If they were strong, they'd be okay. And I thought I was okay with the losses that I would endure during that time, but I ended up losing a lot of bees, and so I just decided to go ahead and start treating. I primarily used oxalic acid uh, for my treatments uh, for that time because my bees have been a lot stronger since I've been doing it. Um, 
I've just had really good success. It's something you can just treat and leave and be done. You don't have to leave a strip or a treatment in the hive for six weeks or whatever they say. And uh, it's also a natural uh, substance that you find out there uh, in nature a lot. So anyway, I just felt like that was the best way to go and I've had good success with it. Um, now you're not supposed to treat with oxalic acid when the honey supers are on the hive, so that makes it a little tricky, um, especially if you have mite increases in the summer. Uh, you can, I guess, technically take your honey supers off and treat then. The other thing about oxalic acid that is a little bit of a disadvantage is that it does not penetrate the brood, cappings on the brood, and so you have to uh, treat multiple times if there's brood in the hive. The ideal time to do is when the hives are broodless, but here in Alabama that doesn't have it happen very often. So a couple strategies you can incorporate are, uh, they say you can treat uh, three to four treatments, I would say five to seven days apart. I, I just kind of treat when I feel like I need to. Um, and I don't know if you can tell from the video or not, but up on the top of the hive now, there's some vapor starting to come out. kind of hard to see but it is coming out so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and just uh, first, I'm actually going to unplug this and I'll give it about another minute let that thing cool down a little bit and while it's cooling down we'll go ahead and continue to cook the uh, acid for a little while and uh, then move on to the hive Put my mask on here and we'll go ahead and work towards the other hive. Now what you may notice, I really can't talk very well with the mask on for obvious reasons because the mask is over my mouth. The other one I'm just going to use one scoop and uh, because it's, it's basically the equivalent of a, of a single deep, it's two five frame new boxes. And so I'll just put one scoop in there and we'll go ahead and treat it. I'll, I will plug up that entrance for sure because it's a little bit wider. you can hear me. This thing is still, it's got a little last left in there, but that's, sometimes there's some residue and I just scrape it out. Once again, we'll let this go for another couple of minutes, then we'll take it out. But uh, this is primarily the way I, I treat when I use a wand uh, to do bees. It is a little time consuming, and uh, that's what I do. And right now I'm up to about 35 or 40 hives that I'm treating. So if you use the wand method, that can get really, really pretty uh, time consuming. It can take a better part of a day or even two days to do that. Um, if you just have, you know, a few hives, like I got here in my backyard, it's really not not bad at all. He, uh, he charges $100, if I'm not mistaken, to your door for the wand, the vapor, the, uh, I'm sorry, the oxalic acid powder, and uh, the scoop. And it's shipped to your door. He gets it done pretty quick. And I just, I really enjoy working with him. So if you want to get a oxalic acid wand, you know, that's, that's kind of what I've done. So I'd recommend, there's a lot of ones on the market and I'm sure they work, but I know his work for sure. So we're just going to let this go another, probably another 45 seconds to a minute. And then we will disconnect it and we'll call it a day, at least for this video. bring the phone over here and we're gonna look and you'll be able to see what he's doing here. Look up here close. You can see the vapor coming out. Out of there. 
So that means they're getting they're getting vaporized pretty good. I'm gonna go disconnect it from the battery. I'm let it cool down and I'll take it out of there. Guys, while this one cool down, I just like to uh, tell you how much I appreciate you watching my videos. And uh, if you could, if you, if you think this video has been helpful, if you like the video, if you could hit the thumbs up sign for me and subscribe to my channel, I'd also appreciate it if you'd hit the bell um, to get new videos from me whenever they come out. And uh, remember, oxalic acid is an effective treatment for bees if done properly. And, uh, and I've had tremendous success with it. Uh, just make sure you follow directions and uh, adhere to safety guidelines. It is not harmful to bees, it can be harmful to people, and it's very deadly to mice, which is what we use it for. I appreciate you watching this video, and uh, hopefully we're gonna be coming out with a lot more. Uh, next goal is to hit a thousand subscribers. We're getting close. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd sure appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.